Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Tron Easy with another video. Today we're going to take a look at Marvel Legends Gladiator. Gladiator is one of the space Marvel characters. He's a part of the Shi'ar Empire. This is the box here. A little picture on the back. The leader of the Imperial Guard, Gladiator, shoots heat beams from his eyes and commands his forces with formidable strength. He was a part of the Apocalypse Builder figure wave. And some art on the side. Nothing crazy. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we think of this Gladiator figure. So here is Gladiator outside of his package. So the design is cool. This is what he looks like in the comics. Gladiator is like the Marvel's version of Superman. Pretty much any power that Superman has, he has. And I believe the only limits to his powers are his confidence. If he's confident in himself, then he can pretty much do anything. But if something happens to him and he loses confidence, then he can be taken down. This figure is on a big body um, mold. I believe this is the same body as that saber tooth and a bunch of other Marvel figures. I do like the cape. The cape adds a little flair to him with the way how it ties around the little necklace here. I think that looks pretty cool. Primary colors are red, like a blue, and he has a purple face. Nice uh, red on his legs. I wish the, I'm assuming these are like supposed to be boots or something. It would have been cool if that was sculpted in, but that's just paint. Nice symbol on his chest. Would have been cool if these gloves were sculpted as well, but it's asking for a little too much. The articulation is okay for this figure. His head does get a lot of movement. And he can look up like if he were flying. He has shoulders, bicep, double jointed elbow, wrist hinge, a deep crunch which I enjoy. It goes back pretty far. Again, it helps with a flying pose. Uh, waist cut here, leg goes up decent, thigh twist, double jointed knee, the boot has a twist, and rockers at his feet. So yeah, it's not a bad gladiator figure. I am not really a fan of the, well I'm a fan of the cosmic, but not necessarily the Shi'ar. Empire, but I think this figure looks good if you are a fan of the Cosmic X-Men. There's nothing wrong with it. Here is Gladiator standing next to Marvel Legends Ulysses Claw. As you can see, Gladiator has a bigger build and he's a lot taller. So to me, this is like a perfect scale. Here he is with cheery black panther and again i think the scale works very well and uh, both of these characters have nice flowy capes which i like so and a little bit of purple is shared between the two and these two figures do in fact share the same body um and something i noticed too with these figures is that they both come with little accessories to cover their neck because if you were to remove the cape, put his head back on, you realize that his neck just looks really long. <laughs> the same with Sabretooth and I guess any other figure that uses this body. So most likely when this body is being used, there's some sort of accessory around its neck. My final assessment, I don't think this is a bad figure. Um, it's gone up in price 
because it does come with the builder figure apocalypse head and I believe I paid close to 50 bucks for this joint um, so unless you want to build apocalypse or you really have a soft spot or you're a super fan for the uh, Marvel space um, which is again weird because there's not too many um, cosmic X-Men characters besides Gladiator that I can think of so this figure I can do without it to be honest and um, this is a re-release it originally came in a box set with like Black Bolt and Medusa and some other uh, space characters but if you can find this for retail twenty dollars is cool but if anything more than that and you don't need the apocalypse head I would probably pass so thank you guys for watching I'm Tron Easy like subscribe and share and I'm sure I'll see you next time peace